Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got a product from WeBoost. This is the WeBoost Echo or EQO. You can check this guy out at WeBoost.com. I'll have a link in the description below where you guys can check that out. Uh, now this is a cell phone, an indoor cell phone signal booster, uh, uh, and they do offer a two-year uh, warranty on this guy as well. I believe the price and the launch date is actually today or tomorrow, the 14th. Uh, depending on when I get this guy uploaded, and you can buy this guy for three forty nine. dollars uh, It comes in two parts. It's a amplifier uh, that will take the signal uh, into your house uh, from the best spot. So you'll want to kind of know where you get the best spot in your house uh, for your cell service, and you'll put the one part there, the amplifier, and then it'll have a 25-foot cable and an, an, an indoor antenna, and you'll put that uh, closer to where you have the, the worst service in your house. And I will show you with some graphics on my phone uh, the difference that it did make, and we'll get into that in a second. So it works with all carriers, supports all phones, covers up to 1,200 square feet in your house, 60-second startup, so decent, easy to set up, uh, and it's well-built as well. Again, you can check out uh, all of this at weboost.com, www, if you can see on the bottom there, weboost.com. Uh, they're based out of Utah, and they do offer that two-year guarantee. Uh, now, it's pretty easy to set up. This is basically just, you know, it re the amplifier receives the signal, and then it boosts it up to 32 times, and then it extends the signal through the antenna to the rest of your house or inside your house and you can point that in the direction that you want to get those dead zones cut off there. Uh, the packaging is pretty nice here. Uh, it's a big package because you've got a, cu a couple different things in here. You've got the booster, the antenna, you've got a 25 foot cable, you got a power supply. So you'll have that all in this package. Um, and they really do mean 60 sec second setup. When you turn this guy on, it's going to cycle through some lights. Uh, and when it's a solid green, you pretty much have a lock from the cell tower. So I tested this on T-Mobile. I did not have um, any problem uh, with T-Mobile being boosted with this. Uh, so that's uh, that's good for you guys to know, at least if you're on T-Mobile, this definitely locked up to T-Mobile, no problem. I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to work with all carriers like they said. Uh, but I have only tested personally with T-Mobile. Uh, it will work with 3G, 4G, and LTE coverage. You'll see the differences in my LTE coverage today. Uh, boost voice and data. You will also see the difference of that. I'm going to have some graphics up uh, in a, just a second about what my start uh, DBMs were and then uh, what they were after the booster was on. And I also ran a uh, speed test as well for data so that you guys could see the difference in the data as well. No internet's required. You don't have to worry about, um, it's you know, uh, no monthly fees, that type of thing. Um, and it's trusted by first responders. So that's actually pretty cool too. So we'll get into this big box here and show you guys exactly what comes inside. Uh, you get an install guide that I'm not gonna go over too much, but it pretty much just is a pretty easy thing here. All you have to do is uh, you can go to weboost.com forward slash US uh, forward slash test mode instructions and see how to see the uh, DB signal on your actual cell phone. I have an Android uh, Galaxy S7 Edge and I just went to settings about device uh, and then my SIM information and my DBs were active right there. Uh, so you're going to have two plugins on the actual amplifier, which is right here. Uh, you've got some more literature here as well. Uh, don't take it back to the store. You know, obviously signal bars don't uh, equate to actual decibels. Uh, so you're going to want to measure it that way if you want, if you can. Uh, and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you've got your user manual here in a couple different languages, your two year warranty. So you're all set there. Um, and the light patterns again, when it's uh, blinking orange and then solid greens due to uh, strong cell signals from a nearby tower, which may not be from your character, uh, carrier, I'm sorry. Solid orange indicates one or more of the booster bands has shut off uh, due to strong signals. Blinking red, solid red. Solid green is the one you want. You want indicates your boosters function properly and there is, is no issues with installation. Uh, but you can have these. I will leave these up here if you want to check out what they do. You can also check them out on WeBoost as well. Uh, the setup is super simple. You're going to uh, basically take out everything of the box here. You've got this guy, which is your amplifier. Okay, so here's our amplifier right here. And on the side, we're going to have some connections on the side here. Uh, you're going to have your uh, antenna connection here 
a little coax cable will go on that. You're gonna have your power cable here, uh, very simple to plug in. And these are really nicely built, by the way. Uh, they get this matte rubberized finish on the back. Uh, they look good in your house. They don't take up a ton of space. They are a little bit beefy. Uh, but not that bad. I mean, if I was putting this on like a third floor window sill or something like that, it fits perfectly and it, and it does the job that it says it does. Now here's your light indicator here. And again, this is gonna, theoretically, it should just turn, it'll blink green and uh, red and then it'll turn solid green when it's locked on your cell signal. So as long as your ex, uh, installation is correct, you'll get that solid green light. I didn't get any weird crazy codes at my location, so uh, again, you can check out WeBoost if you do. Uh, here's a 25-foot cable. This is your coax cable here. So what you're going to want to do is you'll, you'll screw, it'll have a screw in just like a regular coax for your cable TV. You'll screw into the antenna, uh, and which is underneath here, and you'll also screw into that booster that I just showed. Now here's the antenna. It's a little bit smaller. It's got a kick-out stand uh, so that you can have this guy set up uh, wherever you need it in the house, pointing towards the dead or the worst areas in your house. For me, that was downstairs, so I had it uh, out the door and down the hallway and kind of pointing uh, down the stairs to that area that I wanted to do our test on, which was uh, not uh, uh, not that hard to do, put it that way. Uh, we Once you get this guy in a, a specific area where you want to do the testing, uh, you can test first and then you can leave it in a uh, you know a centralized area, uh, a per more permanent area when you know and locate what is the lower uh, portions uh, or signal in your house. So that's pretty easy. So they did a great job on this. There's a little, just a co uh, coax uh, port in the back where you just hook into. So we'll put that to the side and then they just give you a power plug as well. So uh, the power plug's simple. You know, obviously this is gonna go at the amplifier. You're gonna plug it in and you're gonna be good to go. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna put up a graphic. So I'm gonna do that right now. And this is what my signal was in the worst area of my house. And then I'm gonna put up a graphic uh, after the booster was on. So you've got that now. And you can see at the worst area of the house, I had probably a negative 111, 110. And then once the booster was on, I had a uh, 80, 85. So you're cutting down 30 decibels right there. Uh, so not too bad at all for this. Um, and this was just a test. Like I didn't even find a permanent place to put this yet. So I may even get it better results. Now, as far as data goes, if you look at the speed test and I'll put that up right here, this is before the booster. I'll put it up right here. And then after the booster, we'll put that up there too. So as you can see, uh, after the booster, um, I got a jump in upload speeds by almost triple, probably two and a half times my upload speed went up. Now my download speed stayed fairly constant, but my upload speed um, over, you know, over double what it was when I didn't have the booster. So it does affect data speeds as well. Uh, so that's to answer your question on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was the WeBoost um, Echo. You can check this guy out at WeBoost.com. Uh, again, the ordering starts uh, the 14th of April. So check it out, especially if you got a larger house and you need to boost areas of your house. This guy worked out really great at my place. Uh, and I am definitely giving this guy a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have any comments or questions about this guy, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll check you guys out on the next video.